Do you have plans to immigrate to Canada but worried about your parents or grandparents? Well, you need not worry anymore because in this video I'll tell you about super visa for your parents and grandparents. I'll tell you the details about it, is medical test required or not, the fee and the processing times as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia, Without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I do upload videos almost every day now, so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so you want your parents or your grandparents to be with you in Canada. In that case, you have three visa options. First of all, the visitor visa, which is generally given for 10 years, it's a multiple entry visa. The super visa, I'll, we'll talk about this video, uh, this, sup, this visa in this video itself. Then you have permanent residency visa. Now there was a news lately that IRCC will end parents and grandparents sponsorship lottery system and increase the application cap to 20,000 next year. Invitations to apply will be issued on a first come first serve basis. So until now, the invitations are actually issued on the lottery system based on the lottery system now it will be on the uh, first come first serve basis now we'll talk about the super visa in detail super visa is given to parents and grandparents of the citizens and permanent residents of canada who wants to visit canada it's not given to those people who are working in canada on a work permit or who are there on a student visa this visa is a multiple entry visa valid for 10 years and will allow the applicant to remain in Canada up to two years at a time. Now what's the difference between super visa and 10 year multiple entry visa? In super visa, your parents can live in Canada up to two years while in the 10 year multiple entry visa they can only stay up to six months per entry. So after they complete six months they have to move out of Canada even just for a day they can come back and sick, uh, stay again for six more months but in the case of super visa they can do it for two years so that's a good news right now determining the eligibility it is only for parents and grandparents of citizens and permanent residents of Canada it requires a signed letter from you if you are a permanent resident of Canada which should include a promise of financial support for the duration of their visit. It should list out the number of people in your household. It should also have a copy of your permanent residency or your citizenship. Another interesting point is the medical insurance from a Canadian insurance company. Mind it, it should be a Canadian insurance company and it should be valid for at least one year from their date of entry. It should have at least 100,000 Canadian dollars for minimum coverage and it should not be a quote. It should be a paid medical coverage. So please take a special note of that. Okay, medical examination. Yes, it is mandatory. You need to have a medical examination done by the panel physician for your parents or grandparents before they immigrate to Canada with you. Now, some people might be worried about the health of their parents because older people generally don't have good health so you need not worry much about it they are quite lenient i can't say about any particular disease or any particular illness in particular but they are quite lenient when it comes to uh, student uh, when it comes to parent and grandparent visa the super visa so now the visa fee it's 100 Canadian dollar per person so if you're requesting it for your both of your parents you'll have to pay $200 200 Canadian dollars mind it okay now the processing times the official website says that the processing times is two months but it generally takes you know around one month time four to five weeks in general and this does differ from one country to the other so this is the processing time for India. If you belong to some other country, you can check the processing time 
for your country. So I hope that the information shared in this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video if you really liked it and share it with your friends if you think it would be useful for them. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.